Hello everybody, today I'll be teaching you how to download and install a Minecraft mod pack with MultiMC. Now MultiMC is a Minecraft launcher that allows you to have multiple instances of Minecraft. So regularly with the uh, regular Minecraft launcher, you would have an app data folder and then a .minecraft folder. And then in there, there's your mods folder. Now let's say you wanted to have multiple different mod packs for switch to vanilla and whatnot you would have to go into your mods folder and rename it so the mod loader doesn't recognize the old mods folder and it was a mess. What MultiMC allows you to do is basically create these instances. So this 16.5 instance, if I click Minecraft folder, it gets its own entire Minecraft folder and its own files. So in here, it, these are all 16.5 mods. And then over here, 21, this snapshot version. If I go to Minecraft folder, mods, this is a completely different .minecraft folder. So all I would have to do in order to play on a different um, modded Minecraft version is just click the instance and click play. No file renaming hassle needed. Now I will start, I will show you how to download and install this from start to finish. Now first, some prerequisites. You're going to want to download 7-zip if you don't have something to open up zip files. Just download the 64-bit exe and run through the installer. And then you're going to want to download Java 17. Go to this website, which will be linked in the description, and scroll down to the Windows x64 installer. Download it here, and once it's done downloading, run through the installer and install it. Then you want to go to MultiMC. Now click download and install on their website, click Windows 64 bit, and this will download a zip file. We're going to open up File Explorer, go to Downloads, right click on it, hover over 7-zip, and open archive. Now these, all these files are in a zip folder right here, so we need to extract them somewhere. Go into your file explorer and click this PC. If you have a secondary drive listed here, then extract it there. I personally have it in hard drive one, games, and multi MC. But if you don't have a secondary hard drive, uh, then you can just extract it to your desktop. So right click on your desktop, hover over new, click folder, bring name at multi MC. And in 7-zip, we're going to highlight or select all of the files in here and drag them into MultiMC. Then you want to double click on MultiMC. And before you do that, I'd recommend right clicking on it and then pinning it to start. This adds a shortcut here to your start menu. So you can launch it again instead of going to the desktop folder and double clicking on the exe. Anywho, double click it and this will open up the installer. This asks for your language selection. I'm just going to click next. And then this part is important. It asks for which version of Java you would like to use. Make sure to select Java version 17, the one that we installed earlier. And down here you can uh, change the default memory allocation. I like to set this to uh, 4096, which is 4 gigabytes in binary, but you can set it to 2048 if you want 2 gigabytes. And nothing's stopping you from just typing in 4000. It doesn't matter if it's in binary or not, but if it's in binary, it helps me sleep better at night. Anywho, click next. And this will ask you if you want to enable analytics. I'm just going to keep it on and click finish. First order of business is going to settings user interface, and changing the thing to dark. Ugh, my eyes. And then you want to go to the top right and click on Profiles, and then click Manage Accounts. And then in here, you will sign into your account. So I'm just going to add Mojang account. I'm going to open up my password manager, which is uh, one I'd highly recommend using KeePass, way better than just writing down all your passwords on a notepad. Okay. 
Once you've entered your credentials and added your account, you can then close this, and then it's time to create an instance. Now click this button up here, add instance, and then you're going to enter the details here. Now, since I'm doing this video for my server to teach a lot of people how to install mod packs, you're going to want to get the information from the mod pack page itself. Now, since this is a mod pack specifically for a Discord server, uh, the details are right here for me, version 1.18. So I will select that as the version. And I'm just going to name it the mod pack name. Once you do that, launch the mod pack, or launch the instance, I mean. And this will download all the files from Mojang and create all the files in the instance that are required beforehand. All right, now that we're in the menu screen, we're just gonna click Quit Game. Then click on Minecraft, or no, actually, we're gonna click on Edit Instance. And go to version and then click this button called in install fabric now if you're installing a forge mod pack you would click install forge and select your mod loader version but in this case we're doing fabric so click that and then consult the mod page uh, or the mod pack page for the loader version in this case it's 0 0.12.12 and click ok Now once this is done, or once you've done that, you can close this window and click on Minecraft folder, and then go and download your mod pack. And then once that's done, we're going to go to our downloads folder, open up the zip file, and then we're going to go to MultiMC, click Minecraft folder, and we, and then we're going to go into our mod pack. In our mod pack, I'm going to double click on it. Now, some mod packs, it's just a bunch of jar files. If it is, then you're just going to drag and drop those into your mods folder. However, with this one, since we have mods, resource, and shader packs. We're just going to select all of these and drag them into our .minecraft folder. And then if it asks you to replace any files, just select yes. Now, if you're updating a mod pack, first delete the mods folder and then drag the mods into the mod pack. This is just because updated mod packs might have re removed a mod or two, so it's just best to delete it in its entirety. Once that's done, you can close both these windows and then launch the mod pack. Now, once you've loaded into a mod pack uh, for the first time, there will be some prompts uh, for fellow village users. Just click keep disabled and click don't show again. And now you're in. And then with this, you just go to multiplayer server, add the IP address, click done, and you can join the server. And you're done. I'm now loaded into Minecraft, and now play the this modded server. <laughs> One more thing I forgot to mention, 
you go over here and you press edit instance this gives you some options that uh, I should have mentioned earlier so right here you can click install forge or fabric so that's basically a mod loader and you can change to an older one or update to a newer one and if you click settings uh, here you can change your Java installation so uh, if you just click browse it will open up a file explorer and you will have to find your java.exe so you'd have to click this PC uh, local disk program files scroll down to Java find the Java version you want go to bin and then scroll down to java.exe and uh, another tip is if you open up file explorer at the very top there's a view button and if you select you select this option, file name extensions. This basically allows you to see the .dll.exe and all those extensions at the end of file names. This just makes finding exe files or just associating or figuring out if something's an exe or dll because sometimes you can have java.dll, java.exe, and it can get kind of confusing. And it's just easier to see the extension here rather than looking at the type right here. Anywho. Just select your java.exe, click open, and then if you click test, it will just make sure your Java works. And then down here in memory, you're able to change the amount of RAM located to uh, Minecraft. So you could change it to uh, 2 gigabytes or 6 gigabytes, uh, whatever. But yeah.